Dealing with errors in your Unity project or issues uploading avatars can be annoying if you are not sure how to solve the problem. However, there are several common errors that can be easily fixed with the right approach. If you are unable to find a solution, you can refer to a page from Just Slightly that lists a variety of errors and potential solutions, link in the description. The console window in Unity is located at the bottom left of your screen and can be accessed by clicking on the console tab. If you don't see the console tab next to your project tab, you can get it if you go up here on the windows, general, and then console. You can talk to console by dragging the title next to the project tab. The console displays any errors, warnings, or other messages generated by Unity. In the top right corner of the console window is a filter option. You should only pay attention to the red arrows as the other two do not prevent you from performing actions and aren't really that important. To clear the console, use the clear button on the left. This will remove any message that is currently displayed. Having a clean console makes identifying problems easier as this will not remove errors from broken scripts or other problems that occurred. The collapse button will merge duplicated arrows together so that you don't see the same error multiple times. And lastly, make sure that the error pause option is not enabled. This prevents most error messages to appear, which makes identifying errors more difficult. By the way, these two log errors do not tell you what's wrong. It just says that the upload failed due to other errors. One common issue that can arise is using the wrong version of Unity or SDK. This problem can be avoided by using the Viajet Creator Companion, which automatically selects the correct version of Unity and SDK. If you are not using the Viajet Creator Companion yet, you can refer to a video linked in the description for guidance on choosing the correct version of Unity and the SDK. However, it is important to educate yourself about the VRChat Creator Companion as it can simplify the process of creating content for VRChat and will be the main way to upload avatars in the future, as this is the only way of getting future updates of the VRChat SDK. Errors can also be caused by using outdated third-party tools in your Unity project. Avatar packages that you import may include scripts that are no longer compatible with the current version of the SDK, causing errors to occur. For example, if you are having an outdated tool in your project, such as one from VR Labs, then you may see a red arrow message in the console that indicates a problem with a script. To resolve the issue, you will need to delete or replace the outdated script. It is important to be careful though when deleting files, as deleting the wrong ones may cause issues with your avatar. A script error message will include the location of the script, which in this case is in the editor folder within the VR Labs manager folder. Navigate to this location and delete the editor folder. If the error persists, check for any other error and follow the same process. Also make sure that in those folders there are no other files than scripts. Some files are needed for the avatar, because if it's a script that installs assets to your avatar, then you need to make sure that you do not delete the generated assets that your avatar may use. Another type of error that may occur when uploading an avatar is a missing monoscript error. This happens when your avatar uses a script that is not present in your project and it will prevent you from uploading the avatar. These errors are identified by a message that states you are trying to replace or create a prefab from the instance game object name. That reference is missing a script. This is not allowed. To resolve this issue, you can import the missing script, which is usually dynamic bones. Purchase it from the Unity Asset Store or remove the script from the avatar. However, removing the script will result in stiff bones for the hair, tail or other features. As an alternative, you can import the dynamic bone stub by VRLabs link in the description, which solves the missing monoscript error and allows you to upload the avatar. The same thing applies to the final IK script, which is the only other third-party script permitted by VRChat on avatars. The next is that it's important to be cautious when importing Poyomi shaders into your project. If you try to update your Poyomi package by importing a higher version on top, or if you imported a different package that also includes a Poyomi shader folder, then it may cause errors. To update the shader properly, delete the Poyomi shader folder and import the new one. Your materials are fine as data is saved in the materials. Unless you update from a very old version, it may require you to manually select the Poyomi shader and update some settings. To update locked materials, simply unlock them. If it fails, we select the shader manually. When you're importing an avatar and you see that it comes with a Poyomi shader folder, make sure you untick it when importing the package. Keep in mind that the Poyomi shaders located in the optimized shaders folder within the avatar package are safe to import as they are part of the locked materials. 
If you untake these shaders, pre-locked materials may turn pink. If you have accidentally imported the Poyomi shader twice and are experiencing issues, try deleting the Poyomi shader folder and re-import the Poyomi package again. If a problem persists, consider joining the Poyomi Discord server for further assistance. Link in the description. Overall, if you are still unable to solve your issue and need to ask for help, then please provide as much information as possible to facilitate a faster resolution. To do this, please include a screenshot of the error message in the console if there is one, and include the entire Unity application as well as a list of all imported packages and describe what you want to do. This information alone will allow others to better understand and address your issue. Additionally, please post your request directly in the help channels rather than asking if help is available. And please do not take a photo from your phone, those can be sometimes harder to read or see. Use the built-in snapping tool for Windows. Hold your Windows key, your Shift key and S on your keyboard, then drag with your mouse to make a snapshot. That image is now temporarily saved on your clipboard that you can insert in your message with Ctrl-V. If you do not have that option, use ShareX available on Steam as a replacement. That should cover the most basic problems you can get, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them or join my Discord. I hope you learned something, and as always, thanks for watching.